I'm going to have uh, Philip Bruchette come up now, and uh, the rest of the team can come on up. These are our MAGABOOK students. If you noticed some unfamiliar young faces the last couple of weeks, these are MAGABOOK students that are staying with us here at the church, sort of camping out over in the uh, house building to the south. And they are out on a regular basis um, doing their summer jobs. It's not really a job, though, is it? It's a calling. It's a ministry, putting out Christian literature in the community uh, around us. And they are doing a wonderful job of sharing Jesus with people in our community. So Philip is their leader up here today. He's from Michigan, and he's going to introduce them, or they can introduce themselves. And we're going to hear a couple of short testimonies they want to share with us this morning. So glad you're here. Michigan, and I'm here with the, the canvassing program for the summer, and so I want to say thank you again for having us here. Um, and so we're going to go down, and everybody's going to say their name and where they're from and what they're doing. So we're going to go to Christy. My name is Christy. I'm from Central California, and I am the kitchen head at Girls Dean, and I am also a co forder My name is Christian Baker. I'm from West Virginia, and I'm a student canvasser. Uh, my name is Diego Rodriguez, and I'm coming from Virginia. My name is uh, Joel, and I'm from Rhode Island. My name is Enoch, and I'm from Oklahoma. My name is Yanis, and I'm from Oklahoma. My name is Daniel, and I'm from Wildwood, Georgia. My name is Emmanuel, and I'm from Michigan. I'm also a coal porter. My name is Samuel, and I'm from Michigan. Good morning, family. My name is Mauricio, and I'm originally from Bolivia, but I live in Tennessee, and I go to Southern Adventist University. My name is Sharice, and I'm currently living in Indonesia. My name is Sierra, and I currently live in Belize. My name is Elga, and I'm from Oklahoma. Happy Sabbath, church family. My name is Shasha, and I'm originally from the Philippines, but the same thing as Mauricio. I'm also from Tennessee, studying in Southern Adventist University. My name is Jennifer, and I'm from Roanoke, Virginia. All right, so you guys know who these people are now. These are our canvassers. And so for this past week, it's been our first week out in the community. We've been knocking on doors and getting out Christian literature to the people at the doors, and so we have a couple stories that we want to share with you guys. So I'm going to ask Elga if you could step forward. Elga, if you could step forward, and if you could share our first testimony. Uh, happy Sabbath. So this testimony actually happened on Wednesday this past week. So before we go knocking on doors in the vans, we have prayer requests, and my prayer request that I prayed for was for divine appointments, where I can see God leading and guiding. So my very first drop, I knocked on the first door, and a lady opened the door, and I gave her the canvas, and she was very interested in a book called The Answer Book. It um, is a question and answer book that goes through questions we have about the Bible. And I was canvassing her on it, and she said that she had just been listening to someone about the same topic. And as she was talking, I smelled something burning inside the house, and her fire alarm was going off. And she looked over, and she said, oh, don't worry, the house is not burning down. And she, she was just very interested. And so I offered her Bible studies, and she was also very interested in that. And we prayed together, and she wanted specific prayer requests for her aunt. And she told me afterwards, she said, I was just sitting at my house, and you just showed up, and it was perfect timing. And I thought, I don't know what she's going through, but God is the one who led the leaders to drop me at the right place and to go to the right time. And so this reminded me of uh, a verse in the Bible. Um, could you please look that up? Proverbs 16, verse 9. Proverbs 16, verse 9. And it says... Okay. It says, a man's heart plans his way, but the Lord directs his steps. 
And so I want God to direct my steps. So I want to encourage you all to ask God to direct your steps, and he will give each and every one of us divine appointments. Amen, amen. So this is just week one of a 10-week program. And she also came to my house. <laughs> amen, amen. <laughs> so this is just week one of a 10-week program. We're just getting started, and the Lord is already leading. Now I'm going to turn the microphone to Christian, and he's going to share another story with us. Uh, along a similar lines of what Elko was sharing, God plans out, you know, what sorts of situations we're going to be in, and he wants us to be ready to be able to you know, share what, what we have with people who might be searching for God. Mm -hmm. So this was, I believe, Thursday. I was working with uh, my friend Giannis. And as we were going from one house to another, there was a lady on the sidewalk walking her dog. And she saw us crossing the, the lawn to the next house. And so she's like, hey, what are, what are you guys doing? Like, well, what's this about? And so we went down there and explained what we were doing. And as I was showing her the books, you know, she showed an interest in what we had to offer. And in the end, she ended up getting uh, our cookbook and one of the books that we have, which is Christ Object Lessons, called Lessons of Love. And so it was a blessing that we were, she was, you know, passing as we were passing to be able to share that. And sometimes, like, God puts those people in our path and we have to be ready at just about any moment to share what we have. Because that person, you know, we could be searching for something, and God knows that we are the ones that we can give it to them. So you can see that the Lord is already leading as we go out from door to door. We have also gotten a few Bible study contacts this week as well, people who are interested in studying the Bible. And Diego has those in his hand right now. Those are the Bible study contacts. These are real people who are interested in studying the Bible. And so... Thank you again for having us in your church, and we ask that you keep us in your prayers as we go ahead in the next three weeks here, knocking on more doors and just sharing Jesus' love with the community. Thank you. Happy Sabbath. Good morning, boys and girls. How are you this morning? You're good? I have a question for you. How many of you guys have flown in an airplane before? Has any of you guys ever been on an airplane? You did? Was it fun? Yeah? How many of you not, have not been on an airplane? Okay, so flying in an airplane is kind of like riding a car, but it's really smooth and you're just up high, but it feels the same. So when I was a little girl, my daddy, he, he's a pilot and he flies airplanes. And how many of you guys have seen a thunderstorm come in? Have you guys seen a big thunderstorm where it's gonna about ready to rain? Have you ever seen one? And the clouds are all dark. Yes, water will come down. So when I was little, I always used to wait and hope that we would fly through a thunderstorm. I loved it. It was so much fun because you'd bounce up and down in the plane, and my stomach would rise and fall. And right now, they're going to show a picture of a radar. Can you guys see up there on the map, on the screen? There's a little instrument that has green, yellow, and a little bit of red. Can you guys see it? The red means it's a really bad storm. The green means it's not so bad, and the yellow, just a few clouds. So I would really be watching the radar to watch it turn red, because I just love flying through weather. But yes, do you have a question? Well, not in this particular one, but it could. There's a lot of lightning, and the clouds are really thick and really mean. It could be a tornado warning. I guess it would be kind of fun to fly through a tornado. But <laughs> so when, when I was little, my daddy, he, we would fly with a lot of people sometimes. And they'd be really scared. No, we're going to go through a storm. This is just going to be awful. We're going to fly. We're going to fall right out of the sky. And we're just going to hit the ground. And I was like, and I would always think to myself, no, because my daddy's flying the airplane, and I know he's not going to let it crash. So I was, I was so excited because I knew that my daddy wasn't going to let the airplane crash. So what I would do was I would sit there, and I would just enjoy the ride. Now, many times we go through life. I don't know how many times is it hard for you guys to do school. You're like, I have a terrible test. This is going to be so hard. How many times, how are you excited about that test? Yeah, you're excited about the test? Wow, that, that is so cool. You know, it's kind of like me excited about the storms. 
So even when we're passing trials in our lives, we can know that Jesus is going to carry us safely through because he's not going to let our plane crash. He's going to keep us, and he's going to keep us safe. So does anyone want to pray? Yeah, do you want to pray? What's your name? Kylie, here you go. You can pray. Dear Heavenly Father, thank you for this day. Thank you for the gift of life. I pray we have a good day and a good night. And we pray all this in your name. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. You guys may go to your seats now. As far as possible, please kneel with me. Our Father in heaven, thank you for this beautiful Sabbath morning. Thank you for bringing us all here safely. Lord, I ask that the Holy Spirit may be with us today as we all are gathered here. I pray for each and everyone who's gathered here and those who are watching online. I pray that you bless those who couldn't make it today. I lift up all the prayer requests. If anyone has any, if anyone is dealing with anything, is going through anything, I pray that you give them strength and courage that you will always be with them. In Jesus' name I pray, amen. Today's scripture reading is from 2 Peter 1, 12, and 13. For this reason, I will not be negligent to remind you always of these things, though you know and you are established in the present truth. Yes, I think it is right, as long as I am in this tent, to stir you up by reminding you. From generation to generation, passed down through every age, there's a story of a Savior whose love will never change. All creation will bow before Him, every tongue will praise His name. Until the day He comes again, we will say, You are worthy. 